Well, there's horses that catch my eye, and then there's horses that caught my eye before the sale, and then really impressed me when I saw them. For those of you who don't know So Admirable, that's her head right there, attached to a beautiful Huntsville colt spotty. <laughs> so, uh, this is obviously a brother to So Admirable. Many of you didn't get a chance to get acquainted with So Admirable very well this summer. She kind of kept a low key training down in the spring, and we had moved her over to Kevin in hopes that, you know, she'd do okay this summer. Kevin told me she's a very, very good filly, and I watched her race all summer. Her first start, she was second in 56 out of the nine hole, and she has every reason and every ability and every way to be a good filly when she's three. I think she took a mark at 57 and a half, paced in 56 on a, on a 5 eighths, and she wasn't a big filly. This is a very big colt. This is her brother. His name is Hayesville, and Hayesville is enlisted as a chestnut. Wow, this is a chestnut. Huntsville Colt, brother to so admirable, and she is out of Admiral's Chance, the Admiral's Galley with a mark of 54. And if you look way down in the third dam, of course, you know where this family goes, Admiral's Express, Admiral. These are this is a nice page and a very, very nice looking Colt. There is zero faults I can find with this horse. I mean, if you really want to, really want to get picky, you'd say, ah, you know, he's stood up a little straight. I don't I don't know. I don't, to be quite honest though, it's pretty hard to fault him. You walk him this way, Dick. This is number 605 selling on the last day yearlings. This is Hayesville. He is a Huntsville. He enlisted as a chestnut. A chestnut, it is uncanny. It's like they literally took his sister's head and stuffed it on his body. It's a beautiful colt. Number 605 Hayesville selling here at Timonium on day number three.